There's a lot of jargon that is banded around in the world of NGS. People talk about bioinformatics and pipelines and all other kinds of file types. What does this all mean? Well, remember, an NGS workflow looks like this. You prepare your DNA into what is called a library, then you sequence it, and after that, you have a bunch of raw data. The data itself is not interpretable. It needs to be turned into something meaningful. And to do that, a bioinformatician will build a software solution to process the data and turn it into a meaningful report. Often, a lot of data for a lot of samples needs to be processed. And this data is queued up, one at a time, ready to go into the software. For this reason, these software solutions are often referred to as pipelines. There are various software pipelines that are commercially available. Basic ones may be supplied with your sequencing instrument. Some are specialist software companies, and some laboratories have their own bioinformatics team who write their own. USeq have their own experts too, and we produce beautiful, simple tools that turn your data into meaningful answers to your questions. Exactly what goes on in the pipeline depends on the question that you're trying to answer, but in general terms, they all work a bit like this. Your sequencer produces a raw data file called a BCL file, with all of the data for all of your samples. The next step is normally a demultiplexing step. So the BCL file data is split out so that the data for each of your samples exists as a separate file. Then, the data for each sample is converted into its own FASTQ file. This is a text-based format that contains the sequence info, as well as the information about the quality of your data. Then your data will typically go through various filters to cleanse it and remove anything that you don't want. Next, the data is aligned against a reference sequence of DNA simply comparing the data to another known sequence to establish which bases from which genes you have sequenced. You may then compare your data to another database of data to identify any interesting variants that you have. The best pipelines do all of this quickly and automatically at the click of a button and produce a neat report with your data annotated and easy to understand. So that's a quick overview of data analysis. It involves some powerful computing and some clever ideas, but really it's simply turning lots of raw data into something meaningful that you can use.